so I'm gonna give this a try uh, I had done this one of the first days after YouTube uh, banned everybody underneath a thousand subscribers from uh, live streaming and I tried to use the YouTube app to uh, record video and then upload it in a con more convenient way and uh, it crashed didn't work it was horrifying no it wasn't that's an overstatement it was very annoying because 45 minutes was just instantly poofed very frustrating uh, however uh, that is actually way back when I still had the uh, video game on my phone and there was very very limited storage uh, now I'm down to uh, like 50% or 55% capacity with 45% free space so space shouldn't be an issue uh, let me plug plug her in yeah, ooh, a little, little bit of shift in there alright so it's interesting guys um, I've been playing on Kiora quite a lot and just asking all sorts of questions and it seems to be a breeding ground for Gamorans uh, just terrifying people and when I say terrifying people I mean it people that actually scare me It's amazing that there are these places where there are great concentrations. Of one type of person. Um, anyway, uh, cool thing happened on Patreon. Patreon.com slash gospel beer. Uh, one of the uh, one of the new guys to the team. He uh, asked a really great question about a uh, life situation, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, to doing some things related to that. I also, for anybody watching this, please, whether or not you want to support me on Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash g-o-s-p-e-l-b-e-a-r-e-r. Gospel Bear, patreon.com slash gospel bear. Um, please go answer the poll. Four people have answered the poll, and I know that you guys could do better than that. Okay, I believe you guys could do better than that. I don't know anything. He doesn't know anything? Why am I even watching this guy? Uh, so, there you go. Yeah, there's a little poll on there, and uh, it's 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%, meaning a perfect tie across the board, and, uh, you know, there's things that I'm a little bit more interested in doing sooner than later, and uh, if there's support for that, that would be really great. And then there's things that I'm going to do soon uh, regardless of the poll, like the uh, kombucha, which is going to be fun. And like I told you all, I'm, I am considering uh, not making everything private, but uh, I'm still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. But um, anyway, let's see what else. Alright, so I'm asking different questions that I'm genuinely curious about, and I'm getting answers 
that are so repetitively the same, it's disturbing. So one of the questions I asked on Kiora was, is it anti-Semitic for a Jewish person to change their name to a non-Jewish sounding name? And I get, you know, some of the answers of this question doesn't even make any sense, blah, 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 what is a Jewish sounding name? And I'm like, oh, blah, 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 these people, these people. But there was one good answer, and he answered with the truth about it being done to gain power and to, um, to hide and all these, like, good things. And the dude was Jewish. And, uh, and he went on to describe some other stuff. But it was kind of really refreshing to see that somebody would just answer a question objectively. Um, there is a profound amount of sub subjectivity on Kiora. It's, uh, it's mind-boggling. It really is. So... The way that this is working right now is I have until, basically until the end of June to, uh, to make up another, uh, at this point, $784. I think I'm doing the math. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got, well... There's not necessarily recurring. I don't know. I think questions continue to generate. One question will generate about 25 cents a year. Something like that. So you divide that over. So one question will give you about two cents a month. About. If it's a good question. So, you know, one out of four. So, in order to really aggregate and, and make enough money from Kiora, you'd have to have, I guess, if you did 4,000 times 12. So if you asked 48,000 questions on Kiora, you could make an extra $1,000 a month. Hypothetically, uh, it would last a while. It would keep on going for a while. It would dwindle because some, you know, some questions just lose their, so. 48,000 questions. It takes about, uh, about a good, it takes about a minute to, to fully submit a question and select some people. Um, but then you get distracted looking at other stuff, but it takes about 60 seconds. So 48,000 minutes would be, uh, it's a lot. Eight hundred hours. It's not eight. I think that's eight hundred hours. I'm not a hundred percent on that. But if it was, then you know, that'd be a while. You just have to crank them out. If you could crank out sixty questions an hour, though, that's that wouldn't be bad. It just doesn't work that way. Anyway. Interestingly enough, there's like, you know, tons of people asking questions on Kiora. And I still am a little fascinated about my creativity uh, and my ability to ask questions that are not and have not been asked. I think that's kind of cool. Um, but... I'm also the dude that thinks that I've eaten things in combination that no one else on the planet has ever or maybe ever will eat again. Um, 
you know, I, I'm not saying that this is an example, but something along the lines of um, walnut, blueberry, rose, oatmeal. Uh, like something along the lines of that and going, no, there's just not a chance that, but maybe even with another extra ingredient that's like a little bit even more exotic than rose water. Because rose water obviously isn't something that's in everybody's kitchen, not in America at least. But then if for the people that do have tons of rose water, they might not have walnuts or blueberries. So that's where I'm getting that, um, that concept of, oh, I'm, I'm eating this thing that nobody's ever eaten before. Uh, and I'm pretty confident and all that. I don't know. So, I'm going to keep on playing around with the QR thing. And, um... And look into other opportunities to uh, to supplement my income, to be able to buy food for my wife and kids and myself, because you know I eat food too. Um, do you guys know I eat at work almost exclusively? So I wait to eat my breakfast until I get to work and I eat my lunch at work, and then I don't eat again when I get home. Uh, and it's a, it is a weird, it's weird, but it's good. Like last night, I, I knew I was hungry. I just occupied myself with, with other stuff, and I had a little sparkling water. Apricot, actually. And, uh, it was, it's not apricot, it's not a monkey, it's uppercut. I don't care if it's an app from Apple, or an ape from George, King of the Jungle, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. It's a fruit, you know what I'm talking about. And it was lovely, fantastic, really, really great flavor. Anyway, we're hoping that this doesn't poof, but God knows what I've said. If all this disappears, you know, at least, at least God's listening. So, this is a dilemma. This, uh, how do we uh, converse See, it's interesting. We, we, we think that we have just a... Uh, we think that we just have an issue with people... With conversing with people that uh, we know believe differently than us. And that that's tough. However... Even Christians that believe mostly the same things have problems communicating about their disagreements. I have some uh, theories about that. Hypothesi. sometimes not everyone of course but I think sometimes people can fall into a trap of uh, believing so strongly what they believe that they actually choose to put their faith in themselves and their own uh, logic and all that stuff 
than uh, a more supernatural faith. Uh, faith in God. Faith that faith in God. It is a it's a semi intangible uh, thing, but valuable nonetheless and and worth. Why are there chicken feathers? Flo where is this? I don't see the. Where is this truck? I don't see a chicken truck. What is happening? There's chicken feathers like crazy on the road right now. I always think of uh, Zelda. Why do I think of Zelda? Because I was the kid that was always slashing at the chickens until they attacked me. And those chickens, they went wild. If you've never played Zelda, then just ignore what I'm saying. But if you played Zelda, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You attack a chicken, and the whole group of the chickens attack you. I wonder if there was like a significance to that, some type of a uh, message that they were communicating about chickens and a metaphor per se. I don't know. It's interesting. I find it interesting. So, wow. You know, a lot of rain came through here not too long ago. There's still a lot of standing water. And, uh, I really like the rain. It's really random, man. It is. I know. You're right. Is that? What is that? Anyway, I, I just get distracted looking at a uh, camper travel trailer. All right, so there, there's so much going on, guys. People sharing their life. The coolest thing is, as people continue to share their lives and their stories on YouTube, uh, especially like within the community that we have going on, uh, it gives us an opportunity to lift each other up in prayer and then for those that are able to uh, you know support each other in other ways that that doesn't have to be just financially obviously but um, but it's a beautiful thing when you get uh, evidence tangible evidence of things that can and have been done and I think that we should continue to uh, publish and or collaborate uh, testimonies I've, I really am liking the idea that I've talked about before uh, I'm really hoping that we can pull it off somehow some way someday somehow some way someday that's what I got to see. Um, the whole uh, testimony situation. Well, I had said um, salvation stories. Reusable container, do not destroy. Uh, I had said that, you know, the whole salvation stories thing. However, oh dang, brand new pavement gotta love it it's nice it's nice to drive on freshly freshly paved roads the, the sound changes to a different and then you know I'm always thinking about oh don't let me don't it's so tight it's so tight I, I hate tractor trailers I'm like driving almost about to fall off the lip because he's over the line and stuff anyway it's all good um So one of one of the folks, one of the legends, uh, 
did a, uh, a story, their salvation story. They're already doing it. They're doing, you know, and I, uh, I never made a concise video. I've talked about it. I've definitely told the story, but um, I never made a concise one just dedicated video to it. It's not usually in my style. So I'm like, it's such a short story. It's not a novella. It's way shorter than that. But anyway, collabing on that would be great. Or like a website called testimony.com. Just all the millions of different ways that God has uh, done awesome things in your life and, and you attribute it to God and uh, it's, you know ooh, nice I just watched a tractor trailer take out a bunch of cones and they were flipping up in the air like nobody's business. It's pretty funny stuff. It's funny to see cones knocked over. It's like the cones are there to prevent you from running into the area that you're not supposed to go. Uh, and the cones aren't really a big consequence. But... Oh, that's so weird. They did the left and the right, but not the middle. That'll be weird. How are you gonna... That's so weird to leave the middle unpaved. So weird. I'm just... Some things confuse me, guys. Some things confuse me about how people believe certain things that seem illogical that they could believe what they believe. And the irony is that they say the same thing about me and my beliefs. Uh, I'm a young earth guy. And uh, I actually, it all makes sense, logically. I guess both could make sense, but... I think that certain things, you know, kind of beg the question, and then you realize that the answer isn't the answer you like. Like when a child asks their parent a question, they're like, because I said so. And I think that that's God's answer for a lot of things. Because I said so. Everything I say is what it, what is, so... Um, Here's an interesting way of looking at uh, young earth and or time. How about this? This may or may not blow your mind. It might just be completely unexciting for you, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try it out. We'll see. We will test it out. All right. So somebody says... Uh, well, how could you possibly be believe in a young earth? And uh, I would say, well, uh, God made everything. And he made it uh, at the age that it was. And even though it was chronologically brand new, it had an apparent age that didn't match 
its actual age. Just by nature of it being there, based on our observation as understanding that there's a progression of things because that's our human experience. But in the beginning, when things were first there, that was actually the context for new. Uh, it was just new because it was new. It wasn't new because of any other reason. It was just new. And the fact that Adam was created as a man that probably to us in our finite minds would have looked like a 30 year old he was obvious or whatever you know 20 I don't know how old I don't know he wasn't a baby he wasn't a baby he wasn't a zygote he wasn't any of that okay he was a man post puberty okay At the very least so anyway he was brand new though so but he had an apparent age only from our perspective but take away your perspective hypothetically if you, if you can if you can mind judo yourself out of your own perspective and consider that when adam was made he was both new chronologically and new uh, by reality and appearance because he was the first and there's nothing else you should call it if you understand that looks weird uh, if you understand creation from the context of God and first and all that stuff so you could say see I think that the whole even the apparent age thing versus chronological age is part of a psyop related to an ep, uh, evolutionary mindset that we can't hardly, can't hardly escape. Can't hardly. We can, but it's very hard to escape the progression of time, evolution, and all that stuff. It infiltrates all aspects of our thinking. Or many, 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 many aspects of our thinking, at the, at the least. So, consider for a moment, you're, uh, you're witnessing creation. Everything is new. In reality, it's new. I have a stupid hair that's poking my lip. I think I'm going to go insane rip it out. Uh, anyway. One of these days. Uh, so everything was new. It was actually new. And though if we were to uh, time travel to creation with our minds and our perspective, we'd be like, oh, no, no, no. Look, there's grass that had to have taken time. Oh, there's that. That had to have taken time to be there. It's all based on an evolutionary mindset. So, really and truly, the nature of things and how things are made... Well, you see, the reason that people attribute time to the sediment layers is because... Uh, more time will produce more layers and we know that so therefore we just work the logical uh, way backwards and uh, the sediment layers are there because they were produced there by time yeah 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 I hear you but uh, the same can be said of grass okay the same can be said of rock and trees and all these other things that take time but they didn't take time. They didn't. God made them with his words. Are you trying to say that they just instant, instantaneously appeared? Is that far-fetched for the creator of the universe that's able to speak existence? Is that really far-fetched? 
that God spoke a tree into existence that had, I don't know, 500 or a thousand tree rings? A tree rings only happen if... Do, is that the way that it is? That God is God is subordinate to the, the, the laws and operations of, of time? That's how that works? Went ahead and just went for it. A little bit of a... I wouldn't normally do that, but... It was weird, by the way. It's a weird... It was a weird situation that I just rolled into. It wasn't due to lack of awareness, but... It's one of those matrixy kind of moments for me. Anyway, it's not far-fetched. It's 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 insanity to me for somebody to think that that's a far-fetched idea. So, anyway. It all makes sense to me. You just have to understand stuff from a certain context. And I can entertain all sorts of contexts and ways of looking at things, usually. I enjoy it. I think that trying to understand stuff from other people's perspectives and all that stuff is good. It's healthy good for our brains and it helps us better understand our own beliefs and understandings. Understand your understandings? Sure. Why not? Why not? So, anyway. That that's a fascinating, fascinating way of looking at it. That it's not even that there's an apparent age, really. God just made things a certain way. Whether or not it's true, the rings. Oh, dang. Kind of got a. That was. Oh, that's rough. Um, whether or not it's tree rings or sediment layers or other things that indicate the passage of time, when God created everything, everything hypothetically could indicate a passage of time but it doesn't necessitate it because the creator can do anything well and then it it, it makes you ask the question or some people might go well why did he create stuff with an apparent passage of time based on our perspective that i mean it's an interesting question I'm not going to argue that that's, uh, you know, fruitless. However, he designed everything without the need for progression as ready. It was ready. It was a ready earth. Everything was ready to be used and lived in. It was all ready. So, in fact, the concept of uh, of an earth without uh, well formless and with the, you know void uh, void and without form all the anyway the, I mean the earth was that but God did something to it so I I think he, he made you know he made form out of the nothing and um I think it's just that people that don't understand this, they are, they are denying God is what they're doing. The ones that hold to the evolutionary standpoint are just simply denying what God did. I think it's as simple as that. It's not that complicated. All right, I'm done. I'm here. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to try to do my best. I uh, hope you all have a great, lovely day. I have links and all that good stuff in the description. Check it out. And uh, read the Bible and love each other. <laughs>